Kim, thank you so much. Well, you might be dealing with this as well. You know, it's so hard to keep kids and just everyone healthy during the holidays. Uh, the kids get sick, we get sick, grandma gets sick, everyone passes it around and it happens in, say, hypothetically newsrooms as well. We have Dr. Stephen Halbin with us of Goodnight Pediatrics and he has some ways to avoid the usual holiday sicknesses. So Doc, good morning to you. Morning. Uh, first of all, is it too late to get that flu shot? It's never too late to get the flu shot. Um, the flu runs through uh, March, and you can get the flu it takes a couple of weeks for the actually to get the immunity from the flu shot. So, we're always vaccinating even even into January, February. If there was some kids are, are, aren't old enough to get the flu shot oh, when they oh. when we start, so Ready you have to be birthday. at least yeah you have to be at least six months old to get the okay. flu shot. So even kids that are in March or February, say no, come in and they turn six to get the flu shot. What are what's going around right now? I mean, people are dropping like flies. Um, not quite sure which one. Yeah. I know we've, like I mentioned before, we've had something like 90 year plus cases of documented cases of flu. And this is November. early. This is early. We don't have anything that high in November and uh -huh. December, but we've had like a, a little bit of a peak and it runs through March, April and February, March is the worst months in the valley for the flu. Okay, so what are we going to do to stay uh, healthy? Because, I mean, Christmas, uh, nine days away maybe now. Right. We don't want to be sick. Well, unfortunately for the people that like to shop, one of the things is stay away from crowded places. Okay. Because you never know who's coughing, who's doing it. So um, mm -hmm. stay away from crowded places. Make sure you get plenty of fluids, plenty of sleep, a good diet. Um, and the, like I was saying, the lamest thing is good hand washing. Don't yeah. touch Don't touch <laughs> your well, face. Well, I asked the dog, you know? come on, give me something to give me superpowers and... You know, well, it is always just the simple it's things. It's the simple things, right. And if you're sick and you have a fever, stay home. Don't go to work. Don't go to school. And, and take those five days, if it takes five mm -hmm. days, because yep. I think that's where we start feeling like, oh, I got to go in now. I'm still coughing. Right. I you still know, feel you well. You might be a little, feel a little guilty, but how guilty are you going to feel if you get everybody else sick? Right. Okay. So what about, um, is there anything that I could take to kind of boost my immune system? Uh, you know, that's always been kind of controversial. Yeah. You have all the, the over-the-counter and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's never been scientifically absolutely yeah. proven that it'll help. It wouldn't hurt, but like I right. said, lots of fluids, eat well, sleep, get good night's sleep. Yeah. That helps your immune system the most. That's Exercise just, too. I actually. mean, this is all just great advice in general. Mm -hmm. Right. We'll say the same thing in the New Year's resolutions to healthier living. Mm -hmm. Doc, thank you mm -hmm. so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. No I'm going to sanitize my entire space as soon as the show is over and okay, then live in my time. bubble. Yep. <laughs> good idea. Thanks, Doc. We'll be right back. Arizona, stay with us.